what's that? Some weird satanic potato art? No, this is the girl my boyfriend's cheating on me with. She is gonna learn a lesson today. What's that potato ever do to you? Wait, is that acid? Sure is. Do you even know what you're dealing with? You're not even wearing gloves. I got, a, I got a wooden stick to hold it up with. It's fine. If the acid can burn through the potatoes, don't you think it's gonna burn through a little wooden stick? No. Nope. Uh-uh, no. No, 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 no. Do you even know the chemicals you're dealing with? No. Well, you see, an acid is a chemical substance that neutralizes alkalis and dissolves some metals. It's the corrosive, a sour taste in liquid. Are all acids liquid? Most pure acids are solids. Many, however, are liquids, but a few are gases. So you said that the acid would burn the wood. What about metals? They will dissolve many metals, for example, iron, tin, and zinc. At the same time, release hydrogen gas and can create an electrical current. Acids will react with substances called bases. For example, sodium hydroxide to form salts such as sodium chloride and table salt. I bet you don't even know the difference between an inorganic and an organic acid. I'll tell you. Well, an organic acid, you see, occurs in or can be produced from animal and vegetable matter. In addition to hydrogen, organic acids always contain carbon in at least one of the elements. Inorganic acids, listen to me, contain no carbon and are something called mineral acids. <laughs> they are used in the manufacturing of fertilizers, plastics, explosives, paint, dyes, like in how beautiful my hair color is, and uh, many other substances, those are important. Where can it be found? Acids are everywhere. Sulfur, nitrogen, carbon, phosphorus, fluorine, and arsenic are like among other common elements that combine with hydrogen to form acids. For example, sulfuric acid is in like automobile batteries. You know, like vroom vroom. I still don't see why I can't do my experiment. Honey, when dealing with acids, you need to use a respirator, a long rubber gloves, like really long rubber gloves, boots, industrial aprons, chemical safety goggles, and like a face shield. Like you can't mess up your face. Like, ugh. like it's super very dangerous, like really bad to work with. You really need to pay attention to what I'm saying. Wow, I'm glad I didn't do that experiment. I was not prepared. Yes, it is very important to know what you are dealing with before you do it. Especially if it's from a damn movie. Ugh. They probably went through so many safety precautions and they probably were using sulfuric acid, you know, to corrode the potato. Oh, <laughs> you recognize that I did that from a movie, right? <laughs> How could I forget my favorite movie, Norbit? Respucia is my girl. I live, laugh, love her. <laughs> Can I tell you a better way to get even with your boyfriend? Come here. What? No, come close. Help my closer. Dump his ass. Ever see her again? If you ever talk to her again? If you ever so much as think about the bitch again? This is what's gonna happen.